Hey, what's up, guys? It is Deltre. We are back with some more Fire Emblem Fates Lunatic Conquest. Last time, we recruited Ignatius in probably one of the more infamous child maps, I would say. It certainly seems that way if you were to just take a casual look around the fan base and things like that. Uh, now I guess it seems like Siegbert is maybe the one I should have been looking at. Probably tomorrow, I guess, seeing as to how that seems to be the one that most people want to see next. But... I did want to thank you guys for sharing your perspectives on the previous map as well, and it kind of helped me narrow down where a lot of the difficulties were. Uh, it, it did really seem to be that having a decent flyer there was the key from what I could see. I also wanted to ask if you guys had any cool setups for these kid characters, because I saw one guy say that they tried to make Ignatius into this super badass Dark Knight character. Uh, it didn't actually end up working out too well for them, but it sounds like a really cool idea. I do know a pretty cool setup for one of the kids that we're going to get today, uh, Midori. I'm not entirely sure what the exact setup is, so if one of you guys knows, feel free to point that out in the comment. But basically, I know of a setup that makes her essentially unkillable because of Miracle, and she has a billion luck. Like I said, I'm not entirely sure what all the skills you need for that actually are. But I remember it having like a 97% success rate or something ridiculous like that for her to dodge any death. Which is just, wow. That's just insane. <laughs> also, thank you guys for your patience in uh, the time it took for me to get this one up. If you didn't see the community post, I've been a little bit under the weather for the past few days. And uh, it was one of those really annoying kind of sicknesses too, if you know what I'm talking about. The kind where you're sick enough that you're miserable all day long, but not so sick that you don't have to fulfill your obligations, you know what I mean? And those are those are the worst. Those are the worst. And of course, it had to be like a throat chest sort of thing too. So even if like even if I could have pulled myself together for long enough, I would have sounded like crap anyways, so there wasn't really a whole lot I could do, honestly. I'm still not exactly 100% to be honest, but I think we're good enough that it shouldn't be too noticeable. Now we're just going to jump right into it, I think. We got two of them to knock out today. We're going to do Shigure, and we're also going to do Midori. Let's just start with Shigure. I actually remember to have Azura hook up with somebody. Just out of necessity, she's, uh, she's shacking up with Keaton. Not necessarily the best pairing in the world or anything like that. And I feel like I should probably say that too. These are not optimal pairings by any stretch of the imagination. I'm sure that there's a million different ways you could make this better. Won't really change anything for the main story. Not that I can see. What makes the kids good is the fact that they get free bases essentially because of the offspring seal. So that's what makes them good and their ability to inherit any two abilities from their parents. So you can... You can do something like what I did where I'm just trample stacking everybody, or you could mix and match and do more specific setups. And that's where you're really looking at who is paired with who, right? Who can pass which abilities to which kid. But if you're just worried about beating the game, any of the kids will do really because, like I say, they're unscrewable. They automatically have their average stats no matter what, so there's 0% chance that the RNG decides, no, no, this is actually a bad unit, <laughs> you know what I mean? So... I just wanted to make that clear. Now, we have Paralog 3, the surprise duet. Azura's son, Shigure, arrives wounded to the ship that they are traveling on. The enemies pursuing Shigure catch up to the ship and attack. Unfortunately for them, this is defeat boss for some reason. This is another one of those weird ones, kind of like Dwyer, where it almost seems like it's set up as a different kind of map. <sighs> this almost seems like it would make more sense as either a defense chapter or... like a route chapter. I mean, I'm not really a... A huge fan of route maps, depending on how they're handled, but even route makes more sense. It, it could have been cool with a defense chapter. Uh, it just said we're protecting Shigure, who was wounded, right? So it could have been like that map in Fire Emblem 7 where you have to protect Nils. You know the one I'm talking about? It could have been something like that. I think that would have been cool, but hey. Ah, how I love to sail upon the ocean, to be free from the confines of land. The roar of the waves is like the sweetest lullaby. <laughs> Can you tell I was named Aqua in the Japanese version? That's not your line, Jacob. <laughs> Stepping on Felicia's toes once again. You're already the better unit. You couldn't at least have you couldn't at least let her have this. We have trouble, Azura. Oh. How can that be, Jacob? We're so far out upon the ocean. 
I've just received news that a young man riding a Pegasus has landed upon our ship at breakneck speed, too. He and his steed may have sustained serious injuries. <gasps> what was that? A Pegasus rider? Please point the way. I like how she seems to already know that it's her kid. As if there could be no other Pegasus rider in all of the land. <gasps> Shigure, my son, what has, what has brought you out here? <clears throat> my mother. Did I make it? I, I flew out of the deep rums to find you. Oh my. Oh my, you're hurt, and your Pegasus looks ready to collapse. Uh. Never mind us. We need to return to my deep realm at once. My village is under attack. You and your friends must help me save whoever's left. This almost seems like it should be a two-parter. I mean, I mean okay, Shigure is not so good that he demands a two-parter or anything like that, but tell me the setup doesn't sort of imply something more here, you know what I mean? Uh, you and your fr I think I said that. What's that? What's that? Your village. But from what enemy? I... I... I don't know. It's hard to see them sometimes. I think I know where they're from, but if I talk about it, I'll die, so... Uh, what? Um... They're only semi-visible, but they're fierce fighters. One thing I am sure of is that they're after me. My friends risked their lives helping me get away. I... I think they're all... Shigure. Shigure, you don't know that. Wait, I sent something, somewhere. She senses something, so she's Spider-Man now! <laughs> what can't Azura do? It's them. My apologies. My apologies, Shigure. This grim turn of events is all my fault. They're after you because of me. Come again? Come again? What do you have to do with this mother? Well... Well, I can't explain. Not here. Now, a moment, please. Yeah, I really just can't Shigure. help but get the feeling that... Fates would be better off if Revelation just didn't exist at all. Not to say that the gameplay aspect of it couldn't have worked. I mean, there's something cool to be had there with a route where you can get every single character, right? I mean, that just goes without saying. And it's not necessarily the map gimmicks themselves that I dislike. It's more the map gimmicks on top of the Maniac Mode Fire Emblem 9 stats that makes only five units truly viable. So it's like you have this whole setup where the whole point is to unite both armies, have everybody on one team, but then only a handful of that giant cast is actually worth anything. So it's just kind of, it's, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. This isn't a rev playthrough. Shigure, stay close. I'm certain that those fiends are readying an attack, but if they think they're getting their hands on you... Mother. Mother, who are they? Why did you say this is all your fault? <sighs> I'm sorry to say it must remain a mystery, at least until you give me 15 bucks, kid. <sighs> Tell that to my friends. <laughs> They're the rich blood here. Trust me. Trust me, son. I had little choice. Now hide yourself. I'll take care of them. That's the least I can do. It's just... Go get him, dude. <laughs> it's just... It's just not right. My whole village. And because of what? You must have your reasons for keeping such deadly secrets, mother. But this fight is now mine, too. I must avenge my friends. Listen. Listen, Shigure, the stakes are higher than you can imagine. But if you insist on fighting, then promise that you'll do it so at... But if you insist on fighting, then promise that you'll do so at a safe distance. No. No, my friends didn't have any choice. I won't shy from battle. I see, then I promise that my friends will keep you safe as best as can be. You should see my friends. <laughs> Losing you would ruin me. You will live, my son, even if it's at the cost of my life. <clears throat> no, mother. We won't lose. We won't lose. Not if I can help it. My friends and I will make them pay. Everyone, prepare for battle. I'm with you all the way. I'm with you all the way, Mother. Yeah, so this just makes Azura seem kind of strange, not gonna lie. So let's take a look at this. I haven't really done so yet. All we gotta do is kill this guy. That's it. He doesn't even have the bullshit one to two range thing. Wow. Does he start within what? 19 tiles of me, I think, would be how close he would need to be. Like at a minimum, so uh, let let me just let me just assume that I can get to him. Camilla, you there? Anybody else here is fine. Where are you at, Arthur? Here's Arthur. Is that good game? No lie, is this right here good game? Is that all I had to do? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Camilla's right here. Oh yes, it is. <laughs> all right, so let's do this. I'm not even going to check inventories or anything. I just know that she can do this. I know in my heart of hearts she can do this. If she can't, I'm going to look so dumb here. Oh, they're even going to come that much closer. Cool. <laughs> We've been broadsided. Stay on guard, everyone. Victory. Defeat the boss. Whoops. <laughs> 
Shame too, because I actually kind of like this music. So, Camilla here. Azura right here. No, not transfer. Could you imagine throwing? Could you imagine throwing on this map? <laughs> Just real quick, can we talk about that? So, level up for Azura. Strike, skill, speed, luck, res. Golly, Azura. Calm down. Alright, it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. Not entirely sure why this is the way that they designed it. I'll be honest. <laughs> but there you go. Could have been anyone. You don't actually need to fly to get over the, uh, uh, to move from ship to ship, that is. You can just walk for some reason. I, I don't know why that is the case. You'd think that there would be, like, some planks or something set up to sort of indicate logic and reason, but I guess you could just jump from ship to ship. I guess that's the implication. Anyways, Arthur and Camilla are broken. Good game. Shigure. Shigure, the battle is won, but your worst fears have proven true. Everyone you know and love is dead. Oh, jeez. I slipped away to your deep realm for a moment. These invaders, they raised your village. There's no one left. Oh, it was awful. The humanity, the carnage. <laughs> Mother, I think I get the picture. Oh my god, you should have seen what they did to your best friend. I didn't know a jockstrap could be used to do something like that. Mother! <laughs> Everyone who took care of you in my stead, all of them are extremely dead. <sighs> Everyone? Oh, no, 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 no. No! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If we'd come sooner, that is, if only I'd warned you about them. Why didn't she, though? Because she can talk about... Bella within Bella and I thought that the deep realms were within Bella technically right or am I but wait if the deep realms are within Bella then that would mean that the my castle is also within Bella because the my castle is in a deep realm and if all deep realms are in Bella you know what <laughs> you know what <laughs> I've had about enough of this. I, I guess all deep realms must not be part of Vala, but some of them are, or... Ugh, forget no. it. No, you and your friends have clearly known these evils and more. I'm at fault for being a child too long. No, you're not, though! <laughs> what? My eyes have been closed. Yes, it's my fault, Mother, and not yours for warning me that these guys are going to try to kill me. What a reach! But my heart has been opened. I can imagine a little what it must feel like to live in your world. Still, you find it in yourself to sing, and so must I. Not in gameplay, though. I'll have a really crappy ability that does nothing, though. Sing? It's really not the same thing, Shigure. What are you going to sing? You know the song well, Mother. Truly, how well I do. You plan to sing it as a requiem for your dead. How beautiful. Even beyond the clouds, your friends will be moved to tears. Surely a melancholy rain will fall upon your village. Mother. Mother? But what am I to do? Everyone I knew except you. Ah. And dad I knew. <laughs> yeah, what about dad? Wait. Ah, I have no choice but to find another place to hide you. I... I... I don't want to hide anymore. I'm joining your cause. What's that? What's that? Couldn't quite hear you over the sound of you being benched. Son, you must stay safe. <sighs> no, my friends lost their lives trying to save me. I need to learn to protect myself. I need to get strong enough so I can make the same sacrifice for others. Very well. Very well, Shigure. But you must let me protect you when I can. You cannot deny your mother that. My heart is singing. My heart is singing, and it's a song of hope for the future. <laughs> let us make it a duet, son. Yes. But not literally, because two dancers would be broken. Yes, mother. It will be my honor. So, all right. So, all getting aside, Shigure is fine and all, but the the bigger issue with him is actually getting him without sacrificing anything. I mean, I guess you could essentially beat a map and then grind support points with Azura that way, but the chances of you dancing any single guy enough times for Azura to hit S rank with them is extremely slim. It's extremely slim, so actually obtaining him in a reasonable amount of time isn't something that is very likely because of that. Now, if you uh, class change or it's not so bad, obviously, but that means sacrificing your dancer for the majority of the game. 
And Shigure is not so good that I think that that's a worthwhile trade-off. Not in the slightest. Uh, we can look at his stats, though, because they're actually decent enough. Because, again, he he has Azura's growth, or he inherits part of them. And he inherits part of Keaton's as well, so he's going to be pretty solid with this setup. His skills aren't particularly great. In all honesty, Odd Shaped isn't bad. He's got good offense on the first turn, and... He can be continued to use every other turn to good effect. That way, I, like I said, I didn't really care about the skills at all. Hence why he has luck plus four and not Azura's other skill that I think he can inherit. Uh, I guess he can't get... No, this is her personal. So I guess he can't inherit anything else from her, in my case. But at any rate... Uh, he's okay. He's okay. Flyers are never really a bad thing by any stretch of the imagination. And as you can see, statistically, he's quite sound. He does have Darting Blow from the Falco Knight line, which is pretty good on player phase. As you can see there, if if I wanted to, he could be, for example, doubling Takumi by himself. He can double Master Ninjas like this because of the plus five player phase speed. Not a bad deal, really. He can also go Kinshi Knight. Uh, and I think he would still be able to double Master Ninjas on player phase anyways with just a simple speed pair up so he doesn't need a rally or anything like that. As opposed to somebody like Mozu who would, because again, starting low. Pretty nice ability. I'll go Falco for flavor, I guess. Like, I, <laughs> there's really no other reason. There's really no other reason. He's not necessarily going to be fielded. Maybe he will. Maybe he will on... Siegbert's map or something like that. I can see him being useful. He's also a royal by default, so he can uh, do dragon veins and stuff like that as well. Might have noticed that I'm not going over the growth rates and stuff quite as carefully with the post-game kids because, honestly, we're just doing them for completion's sake, and there's a perfectly usable calculator for this sort of thing if you want to determine all of this stuff for yourself. I, I guess I can link that in the description. For anybody who's really curious but for the most part we're just doing these for the hell of it honestly he does pick up rally speed this way I guess I didn't really consider that so yeah that's not so bad that's not so bad and warding blow yeah the kids all right the kids all right V rank and Lance is C rank and staves by default that gives him a lot of useful ones, in fact, so he can do, like, freeze and stuff like that, but he will never be as good as a dedicated staff user, because, as you can see, his base magic is terrible. So, <laughs> probably as a result of Keaton being his dad, but really, I think the only magic dad is Odin. Or Corin, right? So I don't really see how you're doing too much with that, no matter what. Moving on, let's go ahead and get Midori 2. Now, her paralogue is a little bit longer, it's twice as long, in fact. <laughs> I mean, maybe. I I don't know. I haven't, I haven't played it in a while. It might be possible to one turn. I guess we're going to figure it out. Kazai asks his daughter, Midori, to bring him dragoned herbs, but they are stolen by an adventurer named Candace. Kazai and company pursue her to recover the herbs. I'm so childish. I'm so sorry. Herbal remedy. Man, I'll tell you what, being sick like that, I could have used some herbal remedy. <laughs> two, three, four, hop, two, three, four. Ah, uh, Midori. Keep it going, Midori, one after the other. You'll get there. Hop, two, three, four. But I do hope I'll be there soon. Wouldn't want to keep Father waiting. He's going to be so happy that I found the rare herbs he wanted. Got it tucked nice and safe in my little bag here. Oh, come on. Hop, two, three. Ah, am I there yet? I marched all the way here from my deep realm to meet him. Hop, two, three. <laughs> What's your deal, Midori? <laughs> I'll be honest, I never really used her like that, so I don't know a whole lot about Midori. I do know that Shigure is supposedly pretty important in some of the DLC. I don't know. I I thought about maybe doing some of it, but I, I feel like people might start getting a little bit burnt out on Fates if I... If I continue on with DLC like that, you know what I mean? So maybe for an eventual birthright playthrough of some kind. Because I'm not opposed to playing that game, really. I just need to think of some way to make it interesting. Maybe like in, maybe like a reclass run or like a randomizer potentially. I don't know. I'd have to think about it. But I could see birthright being... I, I could see it being fun, basically. 
So it's not off the table. We might come back to Fates, but I don't really necessarily want to do everything there is to do in this game right now. You know what I mean? Uh, hang on, what's that up ahead? Help me! Help me, somebody, anybody! Shut up! Shut up! Now empty your pockets like I told you, or I'll cut them open! And I ain't too careful with my knife, if you know what I mean. Huh. Leave me alone! What are you doing? Pick on someone your own size, like me apparently. What? What? Who said that? Ah, ain't you a little tater? Sorry, couldn't see from down there. I thought you said someone your own size. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. I'm Midori, the biggest herb gatherer around. Now do the adult thing and put down your weapons. You and you. You pocket emptier? Got him. What's that? <laughs> What's that? How dare you call me a pocket emptier? You take that back. Ain't your parents ever teach you respect to your elders? Guess I'll just have to teach you to shut your yeah. Huh? Huh? No. Get wrecked, kid. Midori. Midori, I'm here. You're safe. Father. Father. Ah! Uh, who? Never mind, I'm gone. Got better pockets to empty anyways. Thanks a bunch. Can't believe you got me a pocket emptier. <laughs> Thanks a bunch, Father. I hope you weren't too worried. I wasn't. <laughs> Is that so? Then maybe do me a favor next time and be on time. I'll always worry. That's my job. Well, now. Have you gotten taller again? You're going faster than bamboo. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But it's time that's going by so fast in the deep realm. I'm an adult now, or at least more of one than that brute was. Anyway, Father, I found the rare herbs you wanted. See? I've got them right here. Uh, hold on. They're right here. I had them just a moment ago. Huh? Huh? Did you drop the herbs when that bandit approached you? Um... Um, no. I'm sure I didn't drop them. Hmm. Hmm. Then where are they? Let's just retrace your steps. They must have slipped through your fingers. No way. No way. I'm sure I didn't misplace them. I was just holding the bag. It must have been that man. He took the herbs from me. Wait here, Father. I'll find that guy and get the bag back. Ugh. No, but Dory, wait! Wait! Um... Um, hey you. Yes, you, with the bag. That's mine. Huh? Eh? Huh? Eh? Sharp eyes, kid. Okay, oh, what should Candace sound like? Hey, that's sharp eye, kid. People don't usually see me when I'm tiptoeing around. Okay. Well, the fact <laughs> is... Well, the fact is, I'm not a kid. I'm the biggest herb gatherer around. And you're running around with some pretty bad guys. Well... Oh, no, I can't do that. There's no way. <laughs> that's what she sounds like, though, I guess. Well, if we're comparing facts, I am not with these barbarians. I travel among them. They make for a nice distraction while I do my work. No one even sees me when I walk around amid the whole hairy, smelly horde of them. And who am I, you may ask? She who locates legendary riches, a genius, an explorer, a dead girl, <laughs> basically in two turns. I'm none other than Candace, the notorious treasure hunter. Um what? um, what? Does this have something to do with my bag? Explain yourself. Leave it to Candace. Leave it to Candace. I have explanations for every occasion. You see, I learned that the rare dragon herbs were hereabouts. As I've said, I'm a treasure hunter. You had something I treasured. The rest is just math. Ergo, what's yours is now mine. Well, the fact is... Well, the fact is I found those herbs first. You stole my bag. Facts again? Facts again? Who needs those? Then let me drop another fact on you. You took the herbs from this forest, didn't you? Wouldn't that make you a thief? Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. <laughs> then I'm not a thief either. I could stand here and complain about you dragging my name through the mud. But Candace is just going to take the high road and say goodbye. You can try to take back your bag, but I'll warn you, I'm quick as a wink. No, wait. No, wait. I need those herbs for my father. How fast is Candace, anyways? Something tells me not fast enough. Okay, so let's see. Sorry, I was taking a drink there. 23 speed, and you're supposed to be quick. She's supposed to be quick. Can you, can you even believe it? Okay, so... How close does Camilla need to be? Here's Midori, by the way. She's pretty alright. Oh, I should have passed her better stuff from Kaze, though. Yeah, her base stats are taking a little bit of a hit here, though, by the way, because Kaze and, um... Oh, man, who did Kaze shack up with? Baruka. Okay, so... Yeah, that would explain her bad speed. Like I said, I didn't really optimize this in any way, shape, or form. I guess it's pretty neat that she has a little bit more strength this way, if nothing else. 
Uh, yeah. So if Cam if Candace is here, she's one, two, three. Four. Can I fly over these or what? I actually don't know if I can, because that would change things. Looks like I can, so that's going to be really, really easy. So, <laughs> I said it was two turns. I meant it's one turn. It's definitely just one. <laughs> she can't. No, she can't. And nobody else really drops anything. So, all I need to do is sneak around here with Camilla. Again, we're not doing math, because I can just tell you Camilla, Camilla wins. Camilla for sure wins. Yeah, look at that. Cool, let's go. So, <laughs> we're going to move Camilla right here. And uh, Azura's going to back her up. And uh, once again, like the previous map, it's been a lot of fun, man. Really, it has. But <laughs> I'll take those herbs now. <laughs> Yet another defeat boss. Oh, caught up with Candace, did you? Wait, how did you do that? How did you do that? It's turn one. <laughs> well done. And I'll warn you, I'm strong as an oak. Can't retaliate at melee, though. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> Oh, lordy lord. So the idea with this map is probably worth explaining, unlike Shigure's. So what happens here is essentially Candace is going to try and escape. If she escapes before you defeat her, then you lose. Uh, I mean, that's, that's really the only main thing here. As you can see, there's really nothing stopping you from doing exactly this. I'm pretty sure that Camilla can just do this with aid movement anyways and if for some reason you couldn't you could just give her a movement pair up there was also that dragon vein near the start that you saw which allows you to burn down some of the trees and cut a clear path to where candace is going to end up on turn two so even if for some reason you either didn't train camilla she died or she's just not good enough to do this and you have nobody else who is good enough to do this either you can still cut her off on turn two by virtue of the way the map is designed so really there's no way this goes wrong the only reason that you would take longer than this is if you just wanted to train up like i said you caught candace you defeated candace who are you oh, i'm camilla oh god no <laughs> you get the dragon herb everybody else takes a little bit of chip and we are done so the Dragon Herbs are a unique item that well, boosts all of your non-movement stats by one point. Pretty decent. This is the only way to get them in Conquest, though, outside of uh, Path Bonus Rewards and DLC. I assume that you can get more Dragon Herbs in DLC. I don't know that to be true, but it seems like that would be something that Intelligent Systems would sell. So, <laughs> yeah, shots fired! Glad that's over. I wasn't sure we were going to get the herbs back. Don't scare me like that. Don't scare me like that. Running off on me. I was terrified. I do like how Kaze seems to be a very concerned father here, but it's sort of undercut by Deep Realms themselves. You know what I mean? All of this, just for those herbs. We could have gathered more. They're not worth the risk of losing you. So never do that again. But I just... But I just... Uh, you don't understand. Those herbs grow here only once every year. And you don't realize the true value of those herbs anyways. Those herbs can make wishes come true. Huh? Huh? I knew that they were useful, but they can actually grant wishes. Well, the fact is... Well, if your wish is to be a little bit better in every way, then yes. Well, the fact is, the herbs can help make one specific wish come true. My wish, in fact, to prove my usefulness to you, Father, so I can stay here. Midori. Midori. You could have waited for the herbs to grow back. This was risky. <sighs> don't you realize? A year here would be forever in my deep realm. And I can't just wait that long to prove my usefulness again. I hate it there, away from you. <sighs> I'm sorry that I put you through all this, Midori. It was only for your safety. But it seems that you're more than old enough to make your own choices. Forgive me for not realizing what you were going through much sooner. Of course, time is more fleeting in the Deep Realms. I plan to visit as often as I could, since days here would be much longer for you. I'm dearly sorry for putting you through such loneliness. Here. Here, take my hand, Midori. From now on, we walk together in life. No more deep realms for you. Huh? You're serious, Father? Of course. Of course. I'll just go let my comrades know that you'll be joining us. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Now see, I was right about the power of these herbs. My greatest wish is coming true. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Midori. We have a lot to catch up about. 
I want to know everything about your life in your deep realm. I've missed out on so much. Tell me it all, and don't leave out a single day. <laughs> yes, Father, that will surely keep us busy for at least a few years. Well, that's nice. The family's reunited at last, but, honest to God, uh, that's it. <laughs> so that's gonna do it for me today. I'm not really sure too much about the characterization of Midori on the whole. I just know the I just know the memes, man. I know the jokes. And yeah, it's really obvious the comparisons you can make to a certain real life illegal activities are not exactly far-fetched. <laughs> but <laughs> I am curious what she's actually all about. So if you know, if you happen to be a Midori fan, let me know. Uh, let me know what that setup is as well if you happen to know. I think it's called the Miracle Midori strategy. Not really sure how viable it is to pull that off in the main game, which is kind of why I'm so interested, because from what I understand, she becomes basically unbeatable. Oh, we can actually look at her promoted stats, I guess. She only has 17 luck, actually. So maybe passing her some luck wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. Merchant seems to make some amount of sense. Mechanist isn't too bad either. Ugh, her speed is awful. Her speed is awful. I guess Baruka hurt her a lot more than I had really realized. I know that if she goes Merchant, though, she'll have effectively 35 defense as long as there's a gold bar in her inventory. And the Merchant actually gives you an ability that allows you to gain more gold bars randomly based on your luck stat, from what I remember. So, depending on if it's luck times one or luck times two, she might have somewhere between the 30... Uh, she might have like a 30 to 60% chance here, I think. Midori really can't do anything. Or so the rumors would say. There's Profiteer and Spence Thrift. Okay, so it's actually only your luck percent. So she has a 30% chance to just get 300 gold basically every turn. Uh, statistically, that's going to mean that she's going to get you 600 gold per map just by being fielded. So there's always that. And there's that Spend Thrift ability as well, which is pretty nice. Pretty darn nice. Gives her a nice plus 10, minus 10, which is huge if she has a gold bar. Which combos pretty nicely with this. Oh yeah, and she's also <laughs> got this Squick Self from her base class. Which means she can heal herself with like a concoction or whatever and still attack on the same turn. Very niche, but it could save you, I suppose. No reason it couldn't. Yeah, she's alright as far as I'm concerned. But the same can be said for literally every kid. Okay, and now we are really done. Anyways, I will catch you guys at the next one. Leave a like if you did, and I will see you guys then. Peace.